A party drink recipe calls for eight scoops of powdered mix for one gallon of water. You decide to triple the recipe for a party. As you are about to serve the party drink, you taste the drink and decide it is not sweet enough. You add two more scoops of powdered mix to the party drink. A. To find a variable to represent the number of scoops of powdered mix that the original recipe calls for. Let's use the variable S. We will state S equals the number of scoops of powdered mix in the original recipe. B, write an equation that represents the known number of scoops of powdered mix in the original recipe. The original recipe calls for eight scoops of powdered mix, and therefore the equation is S equals eight. For C, Construct an equation representing the series of mentioned alterations above to reflect the number of scoops used in the party drink when done. Keep track of each alteration in a separate equation. So we begin with the equation S equals eight, and now let's review the alterations. So first, you decide to triple the recipe for a party. To triple an amount, we multiply by three. To represent this alteration as an equation, we take the equation s equals eight and multiply both sides by three. And because multiplication is commutative, we can show this a couple of ways. We could write s times three must equal eight times three, but typically when we have a variable times a constant, or in this case s times three, we normally write that as just three s. So let's go ahead and write the equation as three s equals Let's leave the right side though at eight times three to show the alteration is tripling the number of scoops of powdered mix. The next alteration is that you taste the drink and decide it's not sweet enough and you add two more scoops of powdered mix. To represent this alteration, we take this equation and write an equivalent equation by adding two to both sides of the equation. This gives us three s plus two is equal to eight times three plus two. So either of these two equations represent the first alteration, and this last equation represents both alterations. Let's move along to part D. I've copied the last equation from the bottom of the previous slide here in blue, which represents the alterations to the original recipe. For D, when the recipe is complete, alterations included, how many scoops of powdered mix were used to make the altered recipe? Looking back at this equation, if we evaluate the right side of the equation, we will know exactly how many scoops of powdered mix were used in the altered recipe. The expression on the right side of the equation is eight times three plus two. Using the order of operations, we multiply before adding. Eight times three is equal to 24. 24 plus two is equal to 26. This should make sense because remember, you first tripled the recipe, eight times three gives us 24 scoops, and then you added two more scoops, giving a total of 26 scoops. So now we know 26 scoops of the powdered mix were used in the altered recipe. For E, what is the expression that describes the number of scoops of powdered mix in the altered recipe? Well, the expression on the left side of the equation is the expression that describes the number of scoops of powdered mix in the altered recipe. So E is the expression 3s plus two. And then finally for F, suppose you begin with a recipe that used a different number of scoops of powdered mix in the original recipe. You do the same alterations to this recipe as before. The result is using 20 scoops of powdered mix in the altered recipe. But an equation that describes this situation. Well, we already know that this expression here describes the two alterations to the original recipe, and therefore, if we perform the same alterations, and the result is 20 scoops now, the equation that describes the situation is 3s plus two is now equal to 20. So we are done, but if we take a look at this equation, maybe we can actually determine the value of s that satisfies this equation, or makes this equation true, remember this value of s would be the number of scoops in the original recipe of this new recipe. And because 18 plus two is equal to 20, 
and three times six is equal to 18, S equals six satisfies the equation, which means this new recipe started with six scoops of powdered mix. I hope you found this helpful.